far off place lived a handsome prince with a gloomy face, for he did not have a bride. Oh, he sighed, alas, and he pined, alas, but alas, the prince couldn't find a lass who would suit his mother's pride. For a princess is a delicate thing, delicate and dainty as a dragonfly's wing. You can recognize a lady by her elegant hair, but a genuine princess is exceedingly rare. Stormy night to the castle door, King Alas, the prince had been waiting for. I'm a princess, lost with she. But the queen was cool and remained aloof, and she said, Perhaps, but we'll need some proof. I'll prepare a test and see. I will test her nuts. The old queen said, I'll put twenty downy mattresses upon the bed. And maybe if those twenty mattresses are raised one tiny pea, if that pea disturbs her slumber, then a true princess is she. But the dainty lass didn't sleep at all, and she told them so the next day. Said the queen, my dear, if you felt that pee, then we've proved enough of your royalty. Let the wedding music play. And the people shouted quietly, Princess is a delicate thing, delicate and dainty as a dragonfly's wing. You can recognize a lady by her elegant air, but a genuine sing them all. This is the prettiest, but not quite accurate. I happen to know the true story of the princess and the bee, for the very good reason that I was there. It was a small kingdom ruled over by a talkative queen and a mute king, and the princess in the story was not the only one put to the test. Actually, there were 13 girls, girls who came to the castle hoping to win the prince, but for one reason or another were found to be unsuitable. As a matter of fact, the day I arrived at court, they were testing Princess Number 12. A curious quiz was in progress. Are you ready for the next question? Yes! This is your next question. Are you quite ready? Uh-huh. Name three kings. Okay. Uh, would you repeat the question, please? Certainly. Name three kings. May I take the third king first? Absolutely. Very well then. Three kings are... Is this a trial? No, it's the royalty test to find out if she's a real princess. King John, King Arthur, Does and... it matter if she's a true princess? Oh yes, if she's a true princess, we can all get married. King of the right! That is absolutely correct! <laughs> Dog 
accomplice? The prince. Until he gets married, none of us can. You have reached the seventh plateau. And your final question. It is divided into four parts and concerns a famous man often referred to as the Knight of the Red Cross. Number one, what was his name? Number two, what beast did he slay? Number three, how many rows of teeth did the beast have and what kind? And number four, what was the middle name of the daughter-in-law, of the best friend, of the blacksmith who forged the sword that killed the beast? Number one, St. George. Number two, the dragon. Number three, 12 rows of teeth. And they're made of iron. And number four, uh, um, what was the last question? What was the middle name of the daughter-in-law, of the best friend, of the blacksmith who forced the sword that killed the beast? The middle name? The middle name. The daughter-in-law? In-law. You got 30 seconds. Pass, please, please pass. Do you speak, my lady? How are you? 20 seconds. Oh. I do wish her luck. She's a freak. Oh, 10 seconds. Oh, oh I am terribly sorry. <laughs> Your time is up. Too bad, my dear, too bad. Sorry, Douglas. After all, you do seem to show some aptitude, but as for the true brilliance of royalty, I'm afraid not. Remember, the blind will tell, and you still tell us quite enough. However, to show there's no hard feelings, we have an excellent compensation prize for you. <laughs> now, goodbye, good luck, and go!
Splendid, splendid. Now watch closely, my friend, as I take this perfectly plain piece of parchment with no folds, no cuts, no creases, and concealed pockets. Well, what is it? Excuse me, Cardinal, but I have to take the minister and check in with the castle steward. This way, please. I'm on my way to Normandy. I won't be staying long. Watch. I put up with a great deal from you. Don't address me by cardamom in court. Just because your father and I have done show business together, do not presume 